Hi, my name is Mitch. I'm one of the trainers with Centric. I'm going to be going over a quick training here today of the new HP um, and the four applications that you're going to see on your screen. First thing I want to mention is if you have not yet associated your badge yet, all you're going to want to do is tap your badge here on the red dot. After you do that, it's going to prompt you to put in your credentials. So your username is going to be your P number with the P, and then your password is going to be your, um, excuse me, your uh, Windows login password. So once you do that, you're just gonna hit log in, and then it's gonna tie those credentials to your card. You don't have to do it again. So even whenever you update your password, it will carry over. Um, so you'll always be logged in. So I'm just going to sign Pete out for here. So I'm just gonna be going over these four applications with you. The only time you ever need to tap your badge to use your device is for print release or for scan. So print release is just an option that's there for you to use. You don't have to. Um, I'll go over the benefits of it. Print release would just be if you have a job that you don't want printed out here automatically. Anything confidential, maybe it's even your own pay stub, things you don't want printed out and just sitting here for anybody to walk up and, and grab. Right now your process is just sitting file print, so everything's gonna print out automatically. You can continue to do that, but if you wanna do a print release, what that looks like is from your desktop, when you hit file print in whatever document you're, you're in, when you hit your drop down to choose the printer that you wanna to send to, one of the ones that you'll see will be called Secure Print. So if you select Secure Print, that's tying that job to your card. So if you were to do that at your desktop, then you would come up to the device, you would tap your badge, it's gonna sign you in, and then you're gonna select Print Release. From there, you're gonna see the name of the job that you sent, you select it, you hit print, and then your job will print out. The other benefit of that is anywhere throughout the hospital or on campus that has one of these badge readers on a copier, you'll be able to retrieve your job from anywhere. So that's going to be it for print release. The only other time that you're going to need to tap your badge to use this device is for scan. So I'm already signed in here with Pete's card. Once I hit scan, this is going to tie to your F drive and then any other folders that you have permissions to scan to. So regardless of what folder you choose, this window is going to look exactly the same each time. So you can hit start. A couple things you can change in here is if you select right here where it says file name, you can actually change your file name. Um, so by the time it does get to that folder or your F drive, it's already named by the time it gets there and then you can just hit start. If you do need to change any settings, you can just hit change settings. You can scan two-sided documents. You can also set this for landscape or legal size paper. And then you can also adjust your DPI right here. So if you wanna add more resolution, you can go all the way up to 600 DPI. So that's gonna be it for scanning. So I'm gonna sign Pete out here because you do not need to be tapped in to use fax or to use copy. So our fax is gonna be pretty simple. All we're doing is going and selecting write fax. So right here is where our fax number is gonna go. So we're just selecting this box. We're putting in our fax number. <laughs> Mind the code pink. <laughs> Um, so our fax number is going to go right there. We do not need to do the one or the nine if it's outbounding. Um, and also we can put in the four digits if it's internal and the four digits will just work. Now, if we do want to turn on our fax confirmation pages, there is a two-step process that you'll have to, to go through to turn those on. So all you're going to do is select more. And then from there, you're just going to select notifications. So right here, notifications, this is kind of self-explanatory. This is just setting it up how you want your fax confirmation to send. So if you just check print, that's what's gonna fax, uh, print your fax confirmation. And then also up here, you can drop this down to success and failure. That way you get a failure page as well. And then after that, you're just gonna hit start. So that's gonna be it for fax. Last application I'll go over with you is your copy application. So copy is gonna be uh, pretty simple as well. You're gonna get your standard settings right off the bat. So sides is gonna be defaulted one to one sided. So it's gonna be a, a common copy, but otherwise if you select this, this is where you can do any two sided copying. So all this is saying is your original side is what do I have up here in my document feeder as my original and output side is how do I want it printed out. So if my original is two sided, I'm saying it's two sided. And then if I want it to maintain or be printed two-sided, I'm saying my output's two-sided. So that's a two to two-sided copy. Um, if you do have a color unit, you'll see your color in your black right here. We're going to default this to black and white and that's save that as the default. Pink, mother baby for East secure. Nope, let's Attention, change this back to one-to-one. -to -one. And now save this as the default. Save. Okay, so this is gonna be defaulted to black or white, but otherwise if you select here and you wanna choose color, you can choose color if you know that you have a, a color copy that you wanna make. 
Right here is going to be your quantity, so you're just selecting where this one's at. I want one copy, hit OK, hit copy. Last thing to go over is if you select options, this is going to give you all of your options here within copy. There's a lot of cool options in here that you probably won't end up using, um, but some of the ones I'll, I'll go over with you. So your sides are gonna be one to one, your color if you're choosing black or white or color. If you do have a staple on your unit, you're gonna find staple in here. So once I select this, this is just going to show me where my staple is gonna go and then it's actually gonna staple the job as it's coming out. If you ever need to scan ID size cards, we're gonna go to scan mode and then two-sided ID. So if you're ever doing driver's license or insurance cards or anything like that, if you select two-sided ID and hit copy, then it's going to walk you through the steps. It's going to literally tell you, okay, set the front side of the card, and then it will ask you to scan, and then you flip it over and get the back side of the card, scan one more time, and then you hit done, and then it'll print it out. So it's gonna put both sides of the card on one side of a sheet. So it's just a lot easier to file and store. If you do ever need to do any reducing or enlarging, you're just gonna select right here, reduce and enlarge. Um, you can leave this set to automatic, but if you select manual, this is where you can put in a manual percentage and kind of play around with that to get the best image that you like. I'm gonna scroll down here a little bit further. Another nice thing you have in here is image adjustment. So if you select this, this is just nice if you have a light original or maybe even a dark original, um, a form that somebody filled out that was a little hard to read. You can actually mess with the sharpness, darkness, contrast, and, and clean up the background a little bit. And then I'm gonna scroll down here just a little bit more and then you're gonna see that your collate is going to be on. So it's gonna be collating as your jobs are printed out. So that's gonna be pretty much it. If you do have any questions, feel free to let us know.